Well, those of you know, who know me personally know that I love Spiritopia. It's a, it's a great thing that I just have fallen in love with. And I'm fortunately right here where it's made. I'm with Chris. And Chris, what, is, what do you do here? Um, uh, everything. Uh, <laughs> like everyone else in a small company, you know, you, you do whatever needs to be done at hand. Um, my official title is Spirit Chemist. Well, there you go. And that works for me. So first of all, let's go over. You have really a base of four that you guys really have all the time. So let's just start here and go over and explain them to me. What are they? Okay. So our apple liqueur uh, is built with our apple brandy that's made in-house, uh, apple cider, and then sweetened with apple juice. And a very uh, complex, deep apple flavor. Has a little bit of a whiskeyish undertone yes. due to the charred barrels we use to age the brandy, which we'll talk about in a second. And then this, this one is one that I, it just is a relatively new one, isn't it? It's only yes, been a couple last of years. Mm -hmm. Absolutely delicious. Tell me about this one. So this also uses the, our apple brandy as the base, uh, and then this incredible pomegranate juice that we get direct from the farm in California, uh, and then a trace of orange peel to just sort of complement the whole flavor. Uh, really fun in the summertime with right. you know some club soda as a sparkler. And I have to agree with you on that because when I first got it, I thought this would be great for the holidays, you know, mm -hmm. a Christmas drink. Mm -hmm. But then it wasn't long before it seduced me into a summer drink mm -hmm. as well. So mm -hmm. yes, it, it works well for both of them. And then this one, tell me about it. So that's our apple brandy and um, that's kind of a, a premium product for us in that we only select the best barrels that come out. Many of our barrels uh, that are also wonderful are used to make the apple and pomegranate liqueurs, but the best of the best we make into essentially like a sipping brandy. Yeah. Um, 102 proof, uh, aged in charred American oak, acts a lot more like a bourbon or American whiskey right. than a brandy because of that barrel. There is a little bit of undertone of apple, of course, yeah. and it makes it a, a really fun, really unique product that's kind of a crossover between whiskeys and brandies. It does really remind me of, of like in, in, in London where they really do sip certain brandies and stuff. It really reminds me of that kind of drink. Mm -hmm. Now the last one though is, is what you, we knew you guys from this. Mm -hmm. So tell me about this one. So the ginger liqueur is um, our first and actually still our most popular product. And uh, it's been growing in popularity since uh, introduction. It's won multiple gold medals in competition. And if you're a ginger fan, you just have to try it. It's, yes. it's just really fun, starts off kind of soft, but then the warmth really grows in your mouth. And uh, it's great by itself. And it's also, of all of them, probably the most versatile in cocktails. And, Everything and, from, you know, ginger, that we're, we're gonna make a ginger royale. I was gonna say, you're, you're actually yes. gonna make yes. us one, aren't you? We're gonna you? make a very simple cocktail that anybody can do. Um, but also in other things like Moscow mules and, um, dark and stormies and nice. everything from simple to fancy. So now what are you making here? So this is going to be a, a ginger royale, very simple drink, two ingredients, sparkling wine, preferably a, a drier sparkling like a Brut or a Prosecco. And so you put that in your cocktail glass. And then if it's a full sized flute, these are smaller glasses, but in, in this you put in about an ounce in three or four ounces of uh, a normal size flute. And that's flute, it. And this is it. And now you are going to be serving this drink somewhere specific, aren't you? Yes, we will be at the Lavender Festival and serving free samples of this uh, and have all of our things for sale. Cheers. That's so good. <laughs> that is so delicious. So here it is. You know, you can go to their website and you can come out here actually to where they make the stuff and they're open on a Saturday, I believe. Isn't Saturday right? 12 to 5. Or you can just go to the Lavender Festival happening in Newburgh and they're going to be serving these drinks That's while great. you're there and then you can buy it directly there as well. You know, it's always a pleasure coming out here, Chris. Thank you so much. We, we love your beverages. Thank you. <laughs> I really appreciate your time.